All right, check this out. All that with just one click. Oh yeah, today we are going to help you streamline your post-production workflow. After a ton of work and collaboration, we finally finished the Canon C200 Pro LUT pack. So how can these LUTs help your workflow? You can use them to monitor while you're on set by loading them into your Shinobi, Ninja V, or small HD monitor. That will allow you to actually see what your final image will actually look like while you're shooting. When you bring the clips into post, you will be able to simply apply the LUT that you use to monitor. At that point, you're basically done with your color correction and color grading so that you can focus on the edit and on the other design elements that help enhance your project. The assumption here is that you nailed your exposure and you dialed in your white balance while shooting so that you can avoid making those adjustments in post-production. These sluts are designed and made specifically for Canon C200 RAW. In case you don't know, C200 RAW captures gamma in Canon Log 2. It uses cinema gamut color as the color space, which is larger than Rec 2020. And it uses cinema EOS original as the color matrix. So why is that important? Because on the Canon C200, we don't have a way to actually monitor Canon Log 2. A huge shout out to my buddy Tyler Edwards for taking this Pro LUT pack out on a test drive on his own footage. And by the way, he asked me if he should apply the LUT or make any adjustments to the clip before he sent me the files. And of course, I responded with just the LUT, please, because it is important that all of you see exactly how these LUTs behave when applied to Canon RAW footage without any other adjustment. You'll want to pay attention to highlights, particularly how they roll off shadows, specifically how they don't get crushed or lose detail, gradients, how soft the color luminosity and saturation transitions fade from one side to the other. And of course, the other frequent offenders, which include color fringing, blotchy color spots, chromatic aberration, artifacts that all too often show up when color correction or color grade is heavy handed or is pushed beyond the limits of the codec. Why do I call this a pro LUT pack? All right, follow me on this one. The LUT market is saturated. Many YouTubers and content creators have their own LUT packs available for you to purchase. We all do, right? Let's be real. I know many people who have purchased a LUT pack and while it was great to show support for that content creator, those LUTs under delivered. The reason is simple. A LUT is not going to bail anyone out. It is not a magic bullet. And most importantly, there is no one LUT or LUT pack that will work across all camera systems, all camera brands, and all shooting situations. That, my friends, is the cold, hard truth and reality. You see, LUTs have to be created for how a sensor and a camera brand handles or deals with light. Because Airy Log C, Canon Log, all six or seven versions, and you know what? Please don't get me started. Red Code Raw, Black Magic Raw, or Black Magic Film, Sony's S Log, Panasonic's V Log, Fuji Film's F Log, and so on, each interpret color, and most important, luminosity in a way that is most favorable for their own camera sensors. There is no single standard or way that all camera manufacturers agree and use and follow when it comes to their own camera color science. In the RED ecosystem, this is referred to as the digital film aesthetic of each of their own RED sensors. The digital film aesthetic is true for all camera companies and why we're all seeing so many YouTube videos talking about Canon colors. So why is this a pro LUT pack? Because it was created 
specifically for the Canon C200 RAW. These LUTs will not work correctly on any other type of Canon acquisition format. If you use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit, you can use these LUTs. If you use Final Cut Pro 10 to edit, you can use these LUTs. If you use DaVinci Resolve as your nonlinear editor, you can use these LUTs. I have videos on how to install and use these LUTs on each of these NLEs, so I'll be sure to link them in the description in case you need help on how to set that up. So here's a fun fact about the Canon C200 Pro LUT pack. These are LUTs that I use every week in my corporate and small commercial productions. That's why we named them Broadcast 1, 2, and 3, HBO, Netflix, Two Tone, Mono, and so on. Here's another fun fact. The more systems you have in place, the more money you will be able to make. Think of it as your filmmaking toolkit. Or if you're a sports fan like I am, these systems are your playbook. The playbook helps you quickly and effectively crank out content without having to do the start, stop, evaluate, adjust, start again cycle. When you have systems in place, the system is a single play in that playbook. You don't have to create anything from scratch or customize it to shoehorn it to fit into your workflow. The time, effort, and resource savings alone will increase your profits and most importantly, help you do more of the things that you love to do while growing your business. Let's break down the looks and possible use cases for each of the 17 LUTs provided in this pack. The broadcast one, two, and three are the ones I use the most often when working on corporate video projects. These LUTs allow me to make a one-click adjustment that prepares my footage for broadcast, web, or streaming delivery. This means the video can be sent to local TV stations and cable stations, and they won't tweak your colors. They won't tweak your saturation or luminance, which to me is a big deal. And the reason why is because I have to compete with free video production from these groups. The other huge advantage to the broadcast group of LUTs is that they take the digital video edge or aesthetics away, making the footage appear much more cinematic without any of the harshness, hard shelf clipping in highlights and protecting those shadows. That combination allows the gradients to smoothly transition in color and luminosity. This is why we have three variations of that LUT and why for me, they are the most commonly used. The Airy Alexa lookalike LUT does just that. It takes the Canon C200 raw footage and with a single click, mimics the look and feel of Airy by lowering the contrast in the highlights and the shadows, keeping the midtones from washing out, giving you great skin tones as a result. This LUT also does a great job at managing the magenta green shift so that we don't end up with a color cast on the gradients in the image, which skin tones are full of gradients. So this is a key value point in a LUT that mimics the Airy Alexa. So now let's talk about the high contrast LUT. This LUT is designed to give you a one-click solution to your clips or projects that need to make a statement. This LUT will give your scene instant, in your face, authoritative, bold, emotionally charged feelings. The high contrast LUT will make your point of interest stand out. You could use it to bring attention to a person in say a fashion shoot because the contrast of the color and scene will likely be opposite of skin tones. For me, I use it when I work with diamond jewelry. The low contrast LUT on the other hand, helps you draw attention to texture, gradients, and tonality without washing out the image. This LUT is great for beauty shots where you want to see the skin detail or fabrics. And it also works great in highly complex scenes where everything in the frame is telling part of the story, allowing the whole to become the actual brand's messaging. The Fujifilm and Kodak LUTs are designed to deliver a one-click solution for those of us who want to give our digital cinema footage the aesthetics of film. 
This is why I call them the faux film LUTs. For those of you who follow me here on YouTube or Instagram, you know that I'm a huge fan of Fujifilm and why I've been working on these two LUTs for a very long time. There is something about the film look and aesthetic in a way that color and luminance rolls off from shadows to gradients, then to midtones, and then again through gradients into highlights that feel like they never clip. I've used these LUTs for live events as well as personal projects. So I'm sure that they would um, shine for all of you who shoot weddings with your C200. The feature LUT takes the modern cinematic style of feature film approach towards color grading. So this LUT is not modeled after any one film, but rather the whole concept of how color is approached in filmmaking and applying that style across all values. What this means is that there will be a pronounced focus and emphasis on color contrast, allowing for all the work your set designer and your writer did in their process to be translated to the color grade instantly, raising the production value of your project. The HBO LUT takes the same approach as the feature LUT, where it will mimic the overall style and aesthetics of modern HBO productions that were designed to be broadcast across multiple devices and methods such as DirecTV. The Netflix LUT also takes that same approach with an emphasis on modern episodic series and made for Netflix streaming services and devices. One huge difference between the HBO and Netflix LUT is that the Netflix LUT expects to go through streaming compression. So it does a much better job at protecting the gradients so that you can avoid banding. Mono LUT. This LUT is designed to bring attention or make a single color pop. So that's a single color in your scene. This will work well in high key lighting as well as low key lighting, where you as a filmmaker get to decide what it is exactly that you want to bring emphasis to. The Nostalgia LUT does a terrific job at making a one-click adjustment to your Canon C200 rock lips by bringing back that feeling of film with big contrast that doesn't crush shadows, allowing highlights to roll off gradually in a very pleasing way, and skin tones that pop and don't look over-processed or plastic. All this emotion is packed into a romantic interpretation of your footage. Punch it, LUT. It is a high, emotionally charged LUT that will make a quick point in your storytelling without clipping any highlights or creating any harsh shelves. This LUT will pull down your midtones by about one full stop, and then it will expand the headroom of the midtones into the base of the highlights in the scene. Cars, men, gyms, racing, skateboarding, and basically all action sports is likely where this LUT will be used the most. The teal and orange LUT really should have been called the YouTube LUT because so many people like that concept and then they try to apply it to their footage. For me, some of it is a bit too aggressive and that's why we worked on this teal and orange LUT where we can still leverage color contrast but with subtlety, because most times, less is more. The two-tone LUT will manipulate colors in your scene with a single click, allowing for skin tones and other colors in the scene to be emphasized. The concept here is that there are dominant colors in your scene, like furniture, walls, flooring, all that make up the environment, right? Well, those colors are then toned down allowing for your point of interest to pop. So this comes in really handy when you don't have a set designer or wardrobe designer because it makes your project and clips look and feel as if they were actually planned and designed, adding instant production value. The Urban LUT is one of my favorites for vlogs. It allows details to come through in the mid-tones and gradients allowing for viewers to feel immersed in the scene and the story. And like the rest of the LUTs, we protect skin tones and soften the highlight roll off to ensure that 
we avoid clipping. I will have additional videos on how to install these LUTs when using Premiere Pro, Resolve, or Final Cut, and they will be linked in the description as well as added to this new Canon C200 Pro LUT Pack playlist. Those videos will also include examples and instructions on how I would recommend that you use these LUTs. As these LUTs make their way out into the wild, I will put together a video with commonly asked questions so that you can evaluate if these LUTs are right for you and your type of projects. I need to make a point. I need to tell you that all of this work is possible because of you. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for being part of this awesome community. I realize that not everyone shoots in raw just like not everyone shoots on the Canon C200. So stay tuned because what's next, you will not want to miss. So be sure to subscribe and ring that bell so that you won't miss out. And that's really all I can say at this point. I warned you, Workflow Wednesday episodes are going to be longer. So if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to let me know. And if you don't, you know what to do. Until next time, I'm Carlos helping you compete in today's web economy. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the comments. Take care. Seems like things